and welcome back. <laughs> well, actually, not welcome back. Just the continuation of the uh, quick overview of what's been going on. So, basically, I've been busy. Things, of course, since I uh, finished building this other vessel. Uh, it was nighttime. I've decided. What the heck? That's weird. Let me try that again. I was walking forward and I looked up. Okay. I don't know what happened there. All of a sudden my jetpack seemed to turn right on. So, anyway, there it is. There's the new skybox from Keen. I decided I would give it a try. Uh, see how it. Uh, how it pans out. It's, it's definitely pretty. Um, of course, I think it might be a little too bright, but we'll see how that looks. So here's the vessel. Um, I'm calling this the STV, which is a uh, standard transport vehicle. It has uh, atmospherics and hydrogen thrusters, utilizing Ecto Sage's uh, cockpit and a couple of his adapters. There is uh, one hydrogen tank, so with all these hydrogen thrusters, it's not going to last for very long. But as it sits right now, empty, it can easily make it out of the planet's gravity well. Um, so we'll see what happens when I have a load in it. I have all these fan dangly fancy lights on it, and there is an oxygen tank in here, there is an oxygen generator in here, and of course, if and when I utilize it to go from planet to space, I will probably pack the um, oxygen generator with ice until it's overflowing into maybe uh, the connectors, <laughs> so that way the cargo containers can stay open. Um, it does have batteries, but also uh, just enough uh, small reactors to provide that extra power requirement uh, if I'm doing multi-axial movements. Multi-axial? Yeah, something like that. There are four uh, gyros. So, should have no problem whatsoever maneuvering it around. And I don't know why that says that, that is actually not full, because it was full, and I have not been using the, uh, I have not been using the hydrogen thrusters. 99.9. Huh! wonder if over time it leaks out. A little bit of realism there. And I basically brought everything into the hangar. Let's uh, keep that on, keep those on, just because it's dark out. Brought everything into the hangar. There's nothing up, up top right now. Um, I set this battery here. It's not connected. I set this battery here for right now until I decide what I want to do with it. Um, I did, as you saw, I did finish these guys, and, uh, there we go. And I'm utilizing these car containers now, which is why those ones got ground down. Uh, these tanks, although they're not showing anything, I thought they were supposed to be filling up. Well, 4%, which is probably why there's nothing showing on the display. Uh, okay, the oxygen tanks are starting to uh, fill. And I've done a couple of runs for ice. Uh, and I will definitely need to do a few more runs. Uh, the Arcturus is getting close to being three quarters full of ice. Or, I mean, of ice, of hydrogen. So, yeah. Yeah. This is very bright. Um, good for YouTube video. 
<laughs> but bad for immersion, if you ask me. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna change that. Just, uh, hang right here. Yes, much better, much better. More realistic, maybe? Yes. Love that nebula. So, the color palette is so much nicer, too. But anyway, so, uh, I do like it without the, uh, the brightness of the other skybox. So, I have... I wasn't originally thinking about creating a huge landing pad here, move the Arcturus over, but the intent is to collect all of the stuff from all the crashes and destroyed vessels. And I'm going to take that beast out. Um, and then venture to either build Mark II version of the rover and drive out there, which of course I won't subject you to hours of traveling, but uh, uh, I do want to traverse the, the uh, surface with the rover to the crash site. Uh, I don't know, it's just something I want to do. Um, like I said originally, everybody flies everywhere. So, anyway. Um, da, 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 da. Yep, I think it's time to go for a flight. I've got plenty of lights on this vessel down here. And, uh, we'll go and, uh, Start collecting stuff. I have changed my default use key to the backspace key, which eliminates the whole suicide option, which I would never do anyway. Come on, come on, pick it, pick it. And that should have helped me avoid from uh, jumping out of my ships or doing things that I don't want to do because I'm too quick to hit the F key. The F key does absolutely nothing now. Haha! <laughs> Keep some of those there. Toss that in there. I'll let the uh, reactors take it. That's just the kind of guy I am. Now, why waste my time doing all of this? I mean, they're just a menial amount of resources. Well, the thing is that... Oh, jeez. See, the thing is that... The more of the stuff that I leave in existence, that's more that my computer has to keep track of. Eh. Why is it so difficult, you know?
Okay. There we are. I'm gonna run up here first. Ah, cleanup is the long, tedious thing, but this will be good for game performance, good for supply reclamation. Use all this stuff for uh, my rebuild. Some stuff. Really, still, it's quite a lot still together. <laughs> oh man! Oh look, a chunk of ice. <laughs> sucked into the, uh... Oh, wow. <coughs> it should probably get sucked into the, uh... oxygen generator. As I'm trying to think at the same time that I'm... Wow. Not much left to do, Dave. See the ships. Definite huge debris field. go to the left, right, left rear, I mean. Yeah, I'm going to go left rear from now on. Oh, wow. Well, that's a benefit. <laughs> There's all kinds of uh, left rear. That would be this one. Yep. The energy dropped down a little bit more. Start cutting on it. I hear you. Close enough. I'm gonna wait till I get to five percent. Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> I 
do like the way this looks with the uh, little lights I put on the uh, top of the cargo containers. Eh. So I'm curious to see. All right, the battery is fully functional, so I just need to be careful not to uh, do anything that would jeopardize that battery. Okay. <laughs> um, little surgery here. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on there. Hold on. What is your problem? Alright. I'm going to disconnect the battery. Try to. This is weird. What is it bouncing around for? It should be like... What the heck is going on? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> what the heck is going on? Is this the pistons? Oh, jeez. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me... You know what? I don't like the fact that it was bouncing too close to this ship. I'll plop it over here. <laughs> How about a hillside? <laughs> what the heck? I wonder if there's a gyro. I don't think I just... I don't think I damaged this. Did I damage it? Okay, no, I didn't. Not that I'm aware of. Is there a gyro? No, there's not. No. Is 
that everything? Turn on my jetpack, go up a little bit. I don't see anything shimmering. All I want to do then is just try and balance the uh, the load here. Let's see here. No, yeah, I don't think I can really do it without looking outside the ship. Although, it looks like I was pretty darn close. <laughs> okay. Yeah, slide over a little bit there. <laughs> Back. Down a little bit. And lock. Let's make sure nobody else locked anything. Nope, we're good. Okay, so it's back to uh, home base. I think that's probably where it's at right there. 